In the previous video, I noticed that the cocobolo we made the marking knife handle out of looked beautiful with a book match. I thought making a book matched necklace might look really nice. I grabbed an offcut from that project, which is linked up in the card in the corner, and started to cut it up for the book match. Here you can see me using the marking knife we made from Cocobolo. I'm using my dovetail saw to cut this off cut in half. It has ripping teeth, which work great for cutting along the grain. In the marking knife video, I cut the wood so that a long straight pattern was visible in the grain. This time I'm cutting it so you get more figure in the grain. You can get a good look at the figure here. The arcs are like little cathedrals. I thought the pattern was a little boring, so I cut up the other piece. This piece looked much better. It was almost like you were looking down on a stage from the nosebleed seats. I moved on to sanding with 80 grit sandpaper to clean up the cut and get a better look at the patterning. Because the cocobolo is so oily, it would clog up my sandpaper very quickly. Now you can really see the shape that is there. With the face of the necklace prepped, I could glue the two halves together to create the book match. I let the glue dry overnight. This is because of the oily nature of the wood making the glue dry very slowly. Normally, I would let glue dry for two hours for a project like this. We can now move on to the final cleanup and sanding. I started with 80 grit and moved on to 120 grit. With the entire blank sanded up to 120 grit, I could cut out the shape of my scroll saw. I decided to go with the triangle because of the direction the grain was flowing in the book match. Now it's time for the final sanding. I chose to sand from 180 grit all the way up to 400 grit. You can see how quickly the sandpaper gets clogged. It looks like that, only after about three minutes of sanding. After I finished sanding, I used a center punch tool to carefully make a punch mark. This made it easier to drill a hole for the jump ring to go into.
finish I used was simply just a bath of mineral oil. This was a bad choice because the natural oils in the wood resisted the finish. I think this project only turned out okay. There wasn't much variation in the grain of the wood to show the book match, and the finished product was incredibly hard to film. I'm definitely going to try this again with maybe a different wood with more figure. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you really love what I'm doing here, feel free to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.